how to create a pillow in 3ds max using cloth modifier pillow we uh, i think the previous sessions we have modeled manually but how to create pillow in 3ds max with cloth modifier okay that i'm going to discuss now first you create a box press f3 to see the divisions or f4 add length segments i'm going to make to 50 length segment and width segment 50 60 is okay 60 will try and this width the, or you can say height segment i'm doing only two means i got one extra line there then you need to convert this one to cloth so go to modify and click over here we choose cloth modifier select object properties select the box choose cloth from here cotton we are choosing or similar other later you can do experiment on different kind of elements over here so we choose cotton now and see when i press ok usually when we press ok what will happen cloth will fall down right that usually do but to make a cloth there is an option to make a pillow there is an option called pressure this pressure when you increase the air will fill inside i mean it will blow it maximum round shape it is going to come so i'm doing a three pressure now then press ok now when i do simulate local what happened it will again try to come down okay but air is filling you can see i'm just going to escape you can see the air is filling inside and we got a pillow so if i don't want to go down this okay i can reset it what you can do it in the cloth modifier just move your mouse you can see here in simulation uh, parameters or you can go down like this way also simulation parameters there is a gravity switch on now switch off the gravity we don't need gravity but what it will what it will work the pressure we already given the so when you do simulate local the pressure only you can see sorry pressure only you can see it is increasing now the air is filling inside and become proper so you see until when you want that time you can press escape button if you're okay on this position escape it if you want you're going to take a copy with the instance and convert editable poly then it become like right now if you want on top of this you can try mesh smooth and all mesh smooth so give more smooth on it right and before smooth if you want uh, i want to feel like one side have uh, the cover or something like that shift i'm going to select it if you want everywhere it's okay or if you want if you don't want one place you can even remove one side only see what i'm saying i remove one side all the selection except everywhere selected okay maybe that it is open or whatever so we choose inset option extra and extrude a bit local normal till bit we extrude it you see i got a mistake over the control to see why i didn't select one portion there so control z and going to select back inset first extrude it local normal bit i'm going to extrude out then we do mesh smooth mesh smooth so a little bit more realistic we got a stitch the border so this way you can model it because it's a polygon objects you know how to model it okay 
different method, different way you can try to uh, model the shape. Perfect. Now, one more, uh, this is already a cloth now, right? Which one is a cloth? No, no, the cloth I delete. Now we have, this is the copy, we have to, what we have taken. Now, one more method, little bit advanced way, the wrinkles and or if you want to get more, there is one more method is there to create a cloth uh, that is using garment maker. It's a new option I have not yet teach. So to do that, you need to go to, that means what I'm saying, you see this all are like rectangles, right? So I want to get like random shapes, okay? Triangles on that. So get more wrinkles on it. So I can take in a shapes, rectangle shape, just take a rectangle shape, then go to modifier, choose garment, garment maker. When you press F3, F4, you will understand using randomly division. So there are possibility to get more wrinkles on it. Density, if you increase it, you see more detail is going to increase or decrease. If I increase it, more detail going to increase it. This way, so that you decide how much you want. Then I took shift and take a copy below. Okay, we are making something like a box before how we have done. Now select both, convert to editable poly. And uh, you directly, when you selected this border and the other border, like I will show you first, select this one and go to attach option. First, we need to attach it to the next one. Then if I select the border from this border to this border, if I am click bridge, what happens? See, I won't be bridge. It will not fill proper. Okay, it's not filling proper because of the sides are different. So what I'm gonna do uh, after, so I'll show you again. I delete, we have only one, okay? So I'm gonna show you again, shift and take a copy. Then both you're going to convert to editable poly. Select any one, choose this polygon from here. Like you select all, then click flip option. Flip means it will flip the, it will flip the, the face. I mean, the normals will flip it. After select this border, sorry, before border, you need to attach it, of course. Attach option to the next one. Now, if you select the border, this both border selected, if you click on bridge now, it will fill it, it fill the problem. So this one we are doing just flip to, to see so after this one again, if you want to convert a detectable poly, all polygon together, like I'm selecting all the polygon, all the polygon together, I can select it and I can flip it back, flip it back. So why I do one side flip that time, the border to border, it will be connecting perfectly. Otherwise the, it will not connect it from here. See, we have done this all the thing just to get this, uh, just like a box, okay? But we need the divisions we have done before also the division, if you wanna get stitch and all, you need to add division. So for that, you need to add uh, edge, this edge and click ring option to select it all. And you can use connect option to make division, connect option. Connect, we need only one division. Okay, one or two, you can do it, it's fine. Done. Then this is, uh, if you editable poly, it's like a normal object, so normal um, object only, how we have done the other way, uh, the other pillow, same way. We go to cloth modifier, cloth modifier, object property, select it, cloth, use uh, cotton. And the pressure I'm gonna do four or five, so see, till four is okay. And uh, we prefer, we don't need now gravity, we switch off already, simulate local. You see the pressure comes inside, so it'll get a little bit more detail on it. Okay, the benefit of this, you can see the wrinkles comes everywhere. Much more better, Jenkins is much more better profession. When you do flag and all, recommended to do this kind of thing. So when you, when you, through the wind, if it is animating, you'll get perfect wrinkles on it. 
convert to editable poly and we do mesh smooth and try other things what I have showed you before. Similar kind of all our options you can use. It's a little bit heavy that you see the wrinkles are much more detailed wrinkles will be visible but if you take this drawing you don't have that much wrinkles you see the big big wrinkles only because all are rectangle but here we have a possibility to get wrinkles much more complicated or small small wrinkles detailed wrinkles can be get using this okay, so getting more realistic on it so, but if you need, if it depends on the cloth, what kind of cloth you're using. If the cloth is, doesn't have much wrinkles, you can follow leather and all this is much suitable, okay? Okay, but uh, when you go to cloth, this will be a little bit better result you get it. Of course, the arrangements you have to set it, okay? But you see which one is more comfort for you or which one look more realistic for you, you can try. Even this is also good, okay? These are the two ways which we're going to create. Uh, wrinkles uh, pillows i'm sorry so uh, this is a cloth now right what else you can do it this one if you keep up okay if you want a different type of a shape on it maybe you kept this one on a bed so you want to feel like it felt if you throw this one on bed how gonna get the result something like that so what you can do it uh, you have to reset it erase the simulation reset it and how you want to keep, you want to keep like this or this way. So gravity usage on and simulate locker. I'm sorry, you need to reset it and erase the simulation, okay? Then try again, simulate lock. It will fill, but you can see that, I'm sorry, what we have not done, we didn't add this one to the cloth. So select the object, select this cloth, object property, add objects, choose this box three, which is we created the last one. That should be collision object. Okay, that just to hit only here. Okay, and reset it, erase simulation and simulate local. Now you see that it is filling also, but you can see the collision there. So this result, you're gonna get it. When we kept the, what are the result? I mean, when we throw this, what are the result we are getting? This we're going to get on it, okay? So even you can try even that. So just understand any objects you can convert to cloth, any objects you can convert to cloth. Uh, one more uh, small ex examples will show you. You want to make, uh, uh, we'll keep this one as converted to poly. So we're not gonna heavy now, we'll keep it here. Nice down, we got like this. Now, I want to create a sofa set, okay? But sofa set should look like a little bit uh, um, a cloth kind of a simulation, okay? Convert to editable poly. Okay, go to front view or left view below everything I'm deselecting. Press Alt key when I'm deselecting like this. That means I need only selection here. Then I'm going to extrude this one to up. When you're extruding, do slowly, slowly only. Otherwise, you need to add divisions extra. Till here is enough. This one, we're gonna convert to cloth directly, okay? How are we gonna convert to cloth? Cloth modifier, object properties, box, cloth. This one I'm doing coat and I will show you different result, okay? And the pressure I'm gonna do it to four, okay? Just simulate local. Sorry, erase, reset it, erase simulation. Gravity switch off, we don't need gravity. And do simulate local. You see the pressure comes inside and we're gonna get different kind of result. You see it fill inside now.
If you okay, you can press escape. Okay, now convert editable poly. You can of course do what? Mesh smooth to get a good result on the borders and all gonna get a nice result now. Beautiful. Okay, down if you wanna hit it, you know, you can you, you hit over there, you know, down you can get it like below what we have done. This kind of result you can do if you hit to somewhere. Uh, for time being, I am keeping color only. This pivot point, how can I make it perfectly? Go to hierarchy effect pivot point, send that to objects. Then you switch off it. I think two is a perfect for this. Okay. So uh, but this is fine. Maybe two, I guess is fine. Right. This way you can create. So facet, you can play many things with this one, you know, any objects you create, any kind of table, any kind of so facet. So you can fill inside and it will blow. You see, you're gonna get this kind of result. Even you make a character where people, you see some uh, cartoons and all you can see. Normal people, if you model a human being, you can fill the air inside, okay? So you're gonna blow like this, you're gonna get round shape. So you need to practice with many exercise, okay? Um, and cloth is most important thing in, in Adobe Animate. We have uh, some more exercises coming with the uh, simulations and all. I mean that um, wind kind of effects and all how we can do. We're going to do it in the next session. And please practice this.